And this is Alex with the GNFAC with a weekly snowpack and avalanche update for the mountains near Cook City. On the week of January 10th, yesterday we rode around north of Cook City and saw quite a few avalanches, some that broke sometime over the last week and some that happened yesterday, including this one on the south side of Henderson Mountain, just above Henderson Bench. Uh, not sure if it was natural or rider triggered, but it's quite large on a wind-loaded slope and broke deep in the snowpack on weak layers near the ground. This avalanche also broke deep in the snowpack on weak layers near the ground. Um, and we, it happened on the south side of Mount Abundance sometime during the day yesterday. This is another angle on it. It was either triggered by snowmobilers far to the left in this slope, maybe a thousand feet away, or it happened naturally, maybe a bunch of snow fell off a tree or something. Uh, this avalanche happened yesterday as well on Henderson Mountain, not very wide, but very deep. It is very deep and could definitely be dangerous. And this was an older avalanche of similar character breaking on that weak snow near the bottom of the snowpack. This avalanche appeared to happen yesterday as well. Doesn't look like it broke on those weak layers, but it is a thick drift of snow that could be dangerous or deadly. And the winds have picked up the last 24 to 48 hours. The mountains near Cook City have received over four feet of snow in the last two and a half weeks. And you can see on this graph of snow water equivalent accumulation through the season at the Fisher Creek Snowtail site. And the last two weeks circled there show a pretty steep increase in, in snow depth. So that's good for the riding and skiing conditions, but it has increased the avalanche danger. And snowfall has tapered off, but the winds are starting to pick up here today. Uh, these photos are showing the snowpack uh, early in December on the left there. This is just over three feet deep with that weak layer of surface hoar which is just facets on some other slopes a little ways off the ground, which is now buried four to five feet deep or deeper on some slopes, which you can see an example of on the right there of, of a pit that we dug today. Going forward for this weekend, we do expect some snowfall tonight uh, and tomorrow with up to a foot possible by the end of the weekend. And Again, winds are picking up. They're going to be moderate to strong tonight and taper off a little bit, but still be moderate into Sunday, mostly out of the northwest and west. So expect drifts of snow to be forming and adding weight to those buried weak layers, making dangerous avalanche conditions. And we expect large human triggered avalanches to be likely this weekend, which can also be triggered from flatter terrain connected to steep slopes due to those weak layers buried deep in the snowpack. The danger will probably stay considerable this weekend. Once this loading stops, maybe early in the week or midweek, danger could drop to moderate, but we, there will still be a possibility for these large avalanches. Stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions. And for now, find terrain less than 30 degrees steep and not below anything steeper. Make sure everyone in your group carries rescue gear, a beacon shovel and probe. And if you're in the Cook City area, uh, any weekend through March, on Friday nights at the Antlers Lodge, there'll be a discussion about avalanche awareness and current conditions. And someone will be at the Round Lake Safety Shelter on Saturdays from 10 to 2 p.m. If you'd like to stop by for 10, 20 minutes or an hour and ask any questions or do a beacon search, they'll have some beacons buried. So you can make sure you and all your partners are up to speed with your rescue gear in case something happens. Thanks for checking in this week. Have fun, stay safe. Check back next week for another update. Check the forecast every day at mtavalanche.com.